and welcome back to Valheim. We were in search of some more stone to be able to build a tool that we need for being able to flatten some land and basically do some basic terraforming. We got to the point where night had fallen and we are desperately trying to find things by the night. Now, we can use our torch here. It will burn uh, the resin and we will probably need to build a new one. But by luck and design more than anything, we have found some stone that we can use. So let's put the torch away and head back to our building site. Nope, this was not our building site. Building site was the other way. Let's put that out way so we can increase our movement speed. As you see, nightfall. These guys come out more in spades. It's... Can prove an annoyance, can also prove quite useful. Ouch. Right, as I said earlier, with swimming, run out of stamina, you will start to drown. So hopefully we'll be able to get to the other side soon. And get out of the way of these guys. You're here to see me die many times. Alright, you suffer a mortal blow each time you're struck down, you'll forget a small part of the abilities and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever your home may be. Well, that was what we were doing. So, let's get our gear. Put back on our tunic. And after that, a bit of fun. We can now build ourselves a farmer's hoe. These are great, as you can see, for leveling the ground. Right. Oh, I did hear Hugan, because he does always say something about this this device. You yeah, crafted a hoe. This tool is useful for landscaping. You can say it's perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the earth. It is easier to create buildings on a level terrain exactly why I want it. So, let's find ourselves a decent... a decent level. Uh, probably about here. Because where you stand will dictate how the tool will work. So, as you see, it's flattening the ground around us. And what I'm doing now is a little bit of future proofing for us by flattening as much ground as possible. As you can see, it is using my stamina rather quickly, so it's always a good idea. Keep an eye on that. Right. Now we have ourselves some, at least some semi flat ground. We can start building. Now, we could just take a wooden floor and slap it right down. However, what I tend to do whenever I'm doing this is find where I'm going to place the corner. So, let's say here. Build a 2 meter wooden beam coming out of it. Then we can build it coming out. And then we can create like a, a raised, um, raised structure. Because we're by the sea. It might also help with keeping our floor dry if we decide to start getting a little bit more stormy. 
Right. I tend to put pegs in at every interval. More out of habit than anything else. I mean, you don't have to do it this this frequent. Uh, you could do it every two, every three. Um, but as you see, just by creating this simple platform, we've gone through quite a lot of wood. All right. Okay. We could keep doing what I was about to do. However, I just wonder, have we got enough for the next ant? axe up. No we don't. We need some wood, but we do have enough flint, ironically. No, oh, don't want to punch the tree. Okay. We needed to clear some more space anyway, so we can take down this tree. Make sure we don't fall, uh, go under them. Right. That's sort of good but also sort of bad you know we don't have anything to take take apart a a birch tree <laughs> now I said I would die many many deaths I wasn't lying <laughs> uh. Oh gosh, and now we've got a boar after us. Okay, let's quickly grab our gear. Ouch. That boar certainly didn't like me just reappearing there. Now if this was Avatar, I would be giving thanks for his life. Well, at least we're going to be getting plenty of wood there, boys and girls. I was not actually expecting that to happen. Right, birch seeds. Okay, that's cool. We Once we get another device later on, uh, once we hit Bronze Age, we will be able to plant those and grow more trees. Obviously. Right. Flint axe. Good replacement for our stone axe. Does a little bit more more damage to both foes and to the uh, for, uh, flora. Sorry. Okay. And there's the beach seas for the the trees that we're cutting down at the moment. So if you want to be a bit of a forester, yeah, go ahead. Once you get hit Bronze Age, you'll be fine. There you go. Proof in point, flint axe is better. How quickly we got through that grayling was still stuns me that you know how how fast we can actually level up in this game. Okay, let's see if we can get this log a little closer to the beach. Get all the wood we can. Hopefully, tell you what, let's get us a little bit more health as well while we're at it. Uh, can we get... nope. Now we've done that. 
and we've had our little bit of death by wildlife, death by falling tree. And there will be death by stupidity eventually, you know, on my behalf. Because there will be times I will do something dumb like... I have been known to jump off buildings for, uh, that I've created for some reason um, and cause my hero to die. But, incidentally, every time we've died, I don't know whether you guys have noticed, I can't exactly show you, but in the top right hand side of the screen, by the map, it says no skill drain because we're so low level, the there is no loss of skills. Once you get much higher up, I don't know, say somewhere between 20 and 25, you will start losing um, a little bit of knowledge in your skills, like Hugo told us. Out of wood again? I thought we'd had, had much more wood than that, but obviously not. All right. Let's at least hope we can get our foundations done this episode. If not, between now and next episode, I'll hack down a few more trees, get us some wood, and we can at least finish our structure. Yep, yeah, even jumping actually we get uh, as a skill. Ah, the wonderful fog. Which way are you falling? That way. leave it here I will continue creating some wood together I won't build any more of the structure until we come back together again have a great day remember to subscribe remember to like thank you very much